Hi, my name's Gia. Welcome to my channel. I'm a first year medical student and today I'm going to share some of my study strategies for med school. I have definitely changed and altered my routine, especially in the first couple months of med school, and I think I finally found something that works really well for me and that is efficient. So I'm going to share with you some of the resources and the methods that I use to prepare for class and to study for exams. The first tool that I use is osmosis. So I will upload all of my documents that I'm going to be studying from into osmosis. We have a bunch of different PowerPoints, Word documents, lectures, PDFs, all kinds of things that are really begging for some sort of organization. And I think that the osmosis workspace tool does a great job of being able to allow students to see all of their documents in one place, be able to open them, be able to see what is happening on each day, and also to take notes and make flashcards from those documents. So osmosis is the way that I create and study flashcards, and I find it really effective really engaging and much more easy to use than the Anki software platform. So I'm going to explain how I make flashcards and how I use pre-made Anki decks in osmosis. When I open up a lecture document or a pre-reading, you can actually make flashcards right on the side of the document. So there's no need to open up two windows, do a split screen, anything like that. I think this is a really easy and efficient way to create flashcards from a lecture document. After I make my flashcards for the day or the next few days, depending on how much work I want to do in that day, I will go through the process of studying those flashcards once just to see how much I've recalled from the process of making the flashcards. Once I've studied those flashcards, they'll go into my space repetition queue. So just like Anki has a space repetition feature, Osmosis Flashcards incorporates this feature as well. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the additional resources that I use to supplement the learning that I'm doing in class and in lecture. Another really nice thing about uploading your documents to Osmosis is that on the left-hand side, there's actually links of related videos and content that you can click on and see if there's an osmosis video, if there's a sketchy video, the pages in first aid that reference that content. And it's really helpful to be able to supplement what you're learning in class and what is contained in the lecture document with additional resources and look at that material in a slightly different way or just fill in the gaps of something that you don't understand. In addition to occasionally watching the osmosis videos, the sketchy videos, I also use the Pathoma videos and the Pathoma book, as well as Words and Beyond. Going back to flashcards, I incorporate some pre-made flashcard decks into my study routine as well. There's a great website called medschoolonki.com. It lists all of the pre-made Anki decks that are available and a little description of what kinds of cards are contained within the deck. I myself use the Zonki decks to study, but there are a bunch of other decks in there that I'm probably going to be adding to my study routine as I move forward. I'm sure you're wondering, how am I studying these Anki decks if I don't use Anki? Osmosis actually has a really cool Anki upload feature, so I upload the Anki decks into Osmosis, add the relevant flashcards to my Osmosis flashcard queue, and then I'm able to study those flashcards at my own pace in osmosis, and those are added into the space repetition queue, just like the flashcards that I've made from my lecture documents. So when preparing for class, I don't take notes at all. I make the flashcards, I study the flashcards, and I add to my flashcards if there's additional material presented in class that I haven't put on a card. 
However, the last thing I do when I'm studying for an exam is make summary notes. This is an example of one of the summary notes that I've made. I will make the same structure of notes for each exam. So I have one packet for diseases and disorders, one packet for drugs, and then one packet for miscellaneous other things that we need to know, such as physiology. In our last class, there was a big list of bacteria and viruses and fungi. I find that formatting my notes in tables like this is a really clear, organized way to collect my thoughts and present information, and I pretty much organize each list in the exact same way. Having all of my notes in a collated packet gives me a lot of confidence going into the exam and helps me a lot on the last couple days before the exam because I'm able to see everything in a clear, concise way and I know exactly what I need to know going into the exam. So this video is by no means sponsored by Osmosis. I really do find it a truly helpful resource for my med school studying and I've put a link in the description below for a free trial of osmosis so you guys can try it out and see if it works for you. If you found this video helpful, I would love if you would like and comment and subscribe to my channel. If there's any additional videos you would like to see, please also leave that in a comment below. And thank you for watching. Bye! No, no, we're not talking, but I hope that you can hear what I'm feeling.